Hello friends. As I said in my previous video that my next mission is on the moon. So in this video, I will show you how to land a rover to the moon surface. So those who do not watch my previous video, uh, put a satellite to the media mat orbit. Uh, please watch that video before watching this video. You can watch that video from the i button on the top right corner, and you can also find the link of this video in the description below. So let's back to this video. To send the rover to the moon surface, there are mainly three steps. At first stage, you should put the rover at the Earth orbit. In the second stage, it's journey from the Earth orbit to the lunar orbit. And the final stage, this rover will perform the soft landing at the moon surface. So before going to the video, I want to discuss with you a fact. This fact will help you to understand this transformation, Earth orbit to the lunar orbit. So let's start. At first, I will use a rocket to send the rover from Earth surface to the lower Earth orbit. Then, by turning on the engine of the rover, I will increase the radius of the orbit gradually. When the rover achieves a sufficient speed, then the rover moves from Earth orbit to the lunar orbit. Okay, quickly, I am showing you a video about this concept. Let's see it. ETO measuring 250 kilometers perigee and 22,000 kilometers apogee. PSLV will inject the Chandrayaan into this orbit at a velocity of 9.89. The orbital period of the spacecraft in ETO-1 is six and a half hours. The spacecraft circles the Earth for three to four times in the same orbit. The LAM is fired near perigee, which increases the apogee to 40,000 kilometers and enables Chandrayaan-1 to go into the second extended transfer orbit, ETO-2. The orbital period of the spacecraft increases to 18 hours. After the second LAM firing, Chandrayaan-1 will go to the third extended transfer orbit, ETO-3, increasing the apogee to 70,000 kilometers. The orbital period will be 24 hours. Chandrayaan-1 will be put into an elliptical orbit where the apogee will match with the distance of moon from Earth. Satellite will take 11 days to complete one revolution in this orbit. During subsequent revolution, the trajectory correction for approach to moon will be carried out. Beyond the 100,000 kilometers, as Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft travels into deep space, mid course corrections will be carried out as and when required. When the spacecraft is about 500 kilometers from the lunar surface, a major maneuver called Lunar Orbit Insertion, LOI, is performed. Chandrayaan-1 will achieve its final moon orbit 20 days after the launch. After this, Chandrayaan-1 will enter into an elliptical orbit around the moon, with the nearest point being about 500 kilometers from the lunar surface, and farthest point being about 5,000 kilometers. After the subsequent health checks, the spacecraft's orbital height is planned to be lowered through a series of planned maneuvers to achieve the target altitude of 100 kilometer circular polar orbit over the surface of the moon. Okay, let's construct the rocket and the rover first. Before going to launch, I want to share with you that one of the most important aim of the Chandrayaan 2 mission is a soft landing on the moon surface. But it's not easy. After 10 times of uh, crash landing on the moon surface, I became successful to land the rover on the moon surface smoothly. 
uh, at the end of the video i will show you some video clips of my crash landing engine is on and the rocket is at launch mode t minus 10 second 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 ignition started t plus 1 second t plus 2 second continue Side boosters are separated. Reaction control system cluster is on. Now the rover is entering at the moon's orbit.
both the landing legs of the rover have opened. Finally, the rover has landed on the moon's surface smoothly. This is called soft landing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can comment your views and queries uh, and subscribe now and hit the bell icon for notification. Bye bye.